Dear friends, I wish to express my warmest greetings of solidarity and gratitude to all who are participating in the cyber launch of culture, art, and literature. I give my special thanks to the concerned artists of the Philippines, Paralang JMS, Act for Peace, and ILPS Philippines for sponsoring and organizing this launch, and to the book reviewers, Professor Lisa Ito of uh, Concerned Artists of the Philippines, Kiri Dalena, Kit Kwe of UP Content, and Dr. Charlie Berrick of Ateneo. Culture, Art, and Literature is the first book to be published under the Seasons Reader series of the International Network of Philippine Studies. I thank this foundation for publishing this book and planning to arrange my writings under the major thematic titles in the next two years. I hope that this foundation will accomplish its plan. I'm happy that this book launch is being held by patriotic and democratic organizations in the Philippines in defiance of the ongoing campaign of state terrorism by the Duterte regime. This regime of treason, tyranny, and thievery is already isolated and hated by the people. It hastens its own ignominious end by escalating the conditions of oppression and of exploitation and driving more people to join the new democratic revolution by red-tagging, abducting, torturing, and murdering social activists, workers, peasants, women, youth, cultural workers, and human rights defenders. Your determination and courage are in keeping with the content of the book, which deploys and develops revolutionary culture, art, and literature with a national scientific and mass character in the service of the Filipino people in their struggle for national and social liberation. We are confident that the Filipino people will prevail over the current anti-national and anti-democratic regime and ultimately over all the exploiting classes of big compradors, landlords and bureaucrat capitalists and their foreign masters in the crisis-stricken semi-colonial and semi-feudal ruling system. We are also confident that the peoples of the world will likewise prevail over all the transgressions of the imperialist powers in the crisis-stricken world capitalist system and march forward on the road of national liberation, democracy, and socialism. Once more, I thank you and wish you greater success in the struggle for national freedom, democracy, social justice, economic development, cultural progress, and international solidarity for justice and peace.